Our Story Productions presents Cooking It Up with Betty, a saucy look at our story. So, get ready for the one and only Betty Thompson! Hello, welcome back to another exciting episode of Cooking It Up with Betty. And what a show we have for you today. I have a special guest. We'll be making a very tasty dish together. And we will have reports from my out in the field uh, What's Cooking reporters. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me welcome my guest today from right here in Sweet Swine County, the one, the only, Earl Silo. <laughs> Hi, Earl. Well, welcome. Well, hey, Betty. I, I'll tell you what. This is a whole lot different than Split Hoof tonight. Well, that's great. I'm glad to have you here. Well, I'm just glad to be here. You know, I don't do a lot of cooking on TV. Matter of fact, I've never cooked on TV before, but I never miss any of your shows. Well, there's a first time for everything, and it's always a pleasure to have a fan on my cooking show. You know, I've written several cookbooks, and maybe we can share some notes later on while we're cooking. Well, oh, that'd be fun while we're cooking. So we're going to be cooking today, too? Oh, <laughs> of course we're going to be cooking. Oh, After all, this is a cooking show. Well, okay. See, you know, I was over to uh, Split Hoof Junction, and they have a new winery over there. Would you like to try this wine? That'd, that'd be fun. You know, <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but I've done a little cooking in my day. Oh, Not on that... TV, but I've done a little cooking in my is day. Is that right? Oh, I make macaroni and cheese and hot dogs like no other. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Okay. Well, there's an apron there if you'd like to put that on. Yeah. Um, you know, um, my show not only tells people what to eat, but where to eat. And I have a group of reporters that go out in the field and they, you know, look around and, and get reports for us. You know, I've seen some of those reports. Those are some really nice places. And, well, you know, that Abby Appetite she sure is kind of cute. <laughs> yes, she is delightful. Let's go to one of those reports right now and see what's cooking in our story country, okay? Yeah. Oh, Abby Appetite here, head reporter for the What's Cooking team, making a list for my reporters to do stories on about the restaurants, cafes, diners, supper clubs, and bakeries in the small towns of the Midwest. You can see them all on clucktv.com. Hey. Let's pick one out and go there together. Remember, you'll be traveling with an appetite. Abby Appetite! Those look like some really great places out there. You know, I'm going to have to keep that in mind the next time, the, well, the next time that Earl steps out. Uh, I see you're having a little trouble with that apron. You can just lay it down there. That's okay. We're getting ready to cook here. So what are we cooking today? Today we're making cornmeal bacon muffins. And, you know, I'm making a um, new cookbook. Everything has to be about corn in my new cookbook. And we have some bacon and we have some corn to go in our cornmeal muffins. Oh, well, you know, that really sounds good. But I, then again, you know, anything with bacon in it has got to be good. <laughs> yes, indeed. Where in the world do you get all of your ideas? Well, you know, I won the Golden Muffin Award uh, several years ago. And this new cookbook that I'm working on is called all, Betty cooks all things corn. All so things all corn. the recipes have to have something with corn in it, some okay. type of corn, either cornmeal, cornstarch, corn, whatever. Okay. And so this one, I have cornmeal and I have corn, both. And the mm -hmm. bacon, you can't go wrong without That's bacon, right. right? And so I have my dry ingredients in here. And to this, I have my egg, my um, milk, and my bacon grease in here. And I just okay. shake it up really good. And that mixes it so that it's completely mixed. Now, I'm wow. going to have you pour that in. Think of everything. Just pour that's, that right in this little hole here in the middle. Really? Okay? Right in the middle there? Right in the middle there. Okay. Just pour it right in there. Just all at once? All of it. Yep. Just okay. pour it in there. You said so. There we go. All right. Now you just that, go ahead. That that's enough? good. That's okay. good. Now stir. Right. Like really get after it? Well, stir, not or? too much because oh. we want to have it kind of lumpy. You know, a muffin is not to be over before. mixed. Oh, okay. 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 Now to this, we're going to add the corn. Okay. And? Bacon. The bacon, the best part, right? Oh, it's like my best friend, Cousin John, ah, says anything. Throw anything away saying? from a piggy right. except the yep. squeal, you know. Well, yeah. Well, he said, you know, no, the only thing better than bacon, he usually says is. More bacon. More bacon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have to agree with him. 
Okay, now we have it mixed. We make sure we get way all of the rye oh, ingredients in the bottom. Oh, I got some stuff in the corner I yeah, missed Yeah, don't, here. don't mix. Yeah, okay. While we're finishing up here, let's go to another What's Cooking report. Lenny left over here, just returned from the road. I and my fellow What's Cooking reporters have discovered incredible restaurants, cafes, diners, supper clubs, and bakeries in small towns. Now you can learn what we've learned on ClockTV.com. I found them so incredible, the only leftover was I, Lenny Leftover. Well, we have the muffins in the oven, and ooh, <laughs> I see that my niece BJ has come to see us. I brought stuff, I brought stuff. I brought some homemade jam and some butter. And why did you bring that? I smelled some muffins in the oven, and I thought I could bring them over for when they were done. Oh, well, they are almost done, and you know, I love it when you come to visit and do taste tests. That's great. Oh, I see that uh, we have a, a guest here. Have you met him? Um, I think I might have. Earl Silo from uh, Split Hoof tonight. He does Earl Steps Out. Oh, yeah. Mom sometimes lets me stay out to watch him. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. All right. Oh, I think our muffins are about done. Let me get them out. Oh, look at there. We have muffins. Woo! Mm -hmm. Well, our muffins are done, and I will say they do smell wonderful. Now, if any of you at home would like a copy of the... Hey, they're hot, honey. They're hot. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. If you'd like a copy of the recipe, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Cooking It Up With Betty. Make sure that you say what the recipe is so you get the special. Or you can go to our website and... Oh my, oh my. And, and get the recipe there. I, I think they're a hit. My, my, I want to say, uh, oh, Louis, this is time to go. <laughs> Everybody wave bye to our whole audience. I want to thank my special guest. I want to thank my niece, BJ, for coming today and bringing the jam and, and the butter. I'm sure that they would taste good on the muffins if we ever got it on there. And thanks to you, my home viewing audience. Please come back next time for another exciting episode of Cooking It Up with Betty. Bye, everybody.